What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here at the distance. Got another video for you guys tonight. Um, this one is um, Menino Donaire versus Hernan Tyson Marquez for the WBA Bantamweight Interim Bantamweight Championship. Um, I believe Donaire has the belt. Um, overall, um, very very exciting matchup on paper. When you think about it, both fighters have very exciting styles. Um, to say the least, I think that. I just think that this could possibly be the fight of the year um, with the styles that are involved in this matchup. Um, Tyson Marquez, Hernan Tyson Marquez, is actually a very dangerous fighter um, when you think about it because with his style, he does have pretty quick hands and can catch can catch you with a lot with a with a shot that you don't see coming. And also, something that I do think about this fight, we all know that Donaire was. Donaire was looking for and was actually supposed to fight Vic Darchinian, but that fight didn't happen. And we heard names like Fernando Montiel didn't happen. So now Donaire has to fight Tyson Marcus, which is actually a, a decent fight um, on paper. And Marcus does have a loss recently, and some are saying some are saying that you know he wasn't focused in the matchup, whatever. But Tyson Marcus is a fighter that you really cannot sleep on um, with that with his style. And I'll start off with um, Tyson Marcus. In this fight, Tyson Marcus has to maintain a decent attack on Nino Donaire. He has a very good, very quick left jab, and something that something with that he does a lot with that left jab. Sometimes it sets up he sets up things with that left jab. Um, sometimes he sets up the left hook that's off the jab. And a lot of fighters don't really see that that left hook coming off that jab, and also, and also he kind of sometimes he sets up a a very decent right or combinations with his kind of his combinations coming in with his left jab. It's and it's a very quick left jab. Also, I have seen Marcus kind of fight. Pretty much he kind of fights coming forward, but at the same time, he can kind of fight a little. He can do a little lateral movement as well, a little bit. And he can do it off the jab, which is which is very good for a fighter. Um, and also, and also with Tyson Marquez, I think in this fight, I think that Tyson Marquez pretty much needs to maintain his attack, needs to maintain his work rate, and and also he needs to stay off the ropes in this fight. He does have a tendency to fight by the ropes, which is where Donaire can open up, you know, pretty much open up on you with. At um, is if you're on the ropes, and you give Donaire a target, he doesn't want to give Donaire a target. He wants a lot of movement. He wants a lot of jabbing. He wants, and also, and not only that, he does want to set up, set up Donaire for some good power shots because there are times, pretty much a lot of the time, at least 75% of the time, Donaire Donaire's hands are are down, and sometimes it's kind of suck you in because he's the bigger fighter, but he needs to take advantage of that. He needs to take advantage of the fact that. The hands are the hands are down, and and also the fact that Donaire is always, you know, it's kind of like with Donaire, he kind of walks, he kind of walks forward, walks around. So if Marcus can move laterally and continue jabbing, using that quick left jab, um, hooking off the jab, um, and also getting getting some power shots off and not moving back, that's something that Marquez does not need to do. He does not want to move back against against Donaire. You know, then he could very well win this fight if he does those things alone. For Nonil Donaire in this fight, he's a bigger fighter. He needs to cut off the ring and walk down, and pretty much walk down Tyson Marquez um, or Hernan Marquez. Excuse me. He needs to he needs to walk him down in this fight. That's I think that's the way to win. A lot of people are talking about. See, Nonil Donaire is about five seven. He's a pretty big bantamweight. He's a big bantamweight. He's about five seven. He walks at 140 pounds, and some are talking about, and a lot of people have been talking about he's possibly weak at that weight because he has to, because he has to cut so much. But a lot of fighters do cut a lot of weight, and and sometimes, you know, and sometimes I guess I guess he's comfortable at 118 because he was a flyweight. So maybe maybe he's comfortable at. At 118, on um, where he is, you know where he is now. Maybe he's comfortable at that weight, 
um, or coming down that way. But some are saying that, and I heard, I actually heard an interview with him on somewhere, and he did sound a little bit weak. He did sound kind of weak, but at the same time, you know, he's he chose to fight at this weight, so there's nothing that you can really say about it. But you know, he's the bigger fighter. He, I think he's the stronger fighter out of the two. So I think in this fight, he has to use that size advantage. I mean, use his size to his advantage in this specific fight. I think that's pretty much the key factor for Nonino Donaire. I think he has to use the size to his advantage. He has to find his openings, and he has to find his openings very quickly against against Marquez. I think he has to really find his openings and take advantage of those openings. And because Nonino Donaire is a, does a really good job of finding openings and putting his shots together very well. Um, usually with Donaire, he has very he ha he does have quick hands and quick heavy hands too, and can wear down and can wear you down. Um, and use and use and use that to his advantage as well, um, and also he he does that pretty good, pretty good boxing ability. Um, hopefully we see more. I think that Donaire does have to use use more of a jab to set up his to set up these openings and combinations, and also with Marquez, there are, there are some. I guess you do have to make Marquez go back because if Marquez goes back. Marquez's defense is a lot different when he goes back. That's why I said Marquez needs to go side to side. If he if Marquez goes back, then a lot of shots are going to be landed because and, and a lot of fights with Tyson Marquez, um, a lot of shots are landed when he goes back. Um, and he usually he has a tendency to kind of get on the ropes, or if you're throwing at him, if you're throwing like combinations at him, he just stops punching. So that's really what Donne needs to do. He needs to cut off the ring. Um, use the size and set set him up with set him up with combinations and find his openings. That's what Donaire needs to do. I said at the begin at the beginning of this video that Donaire does not need to sleep on Marquez. And, I, and honestly, I don't think he's sleeping on Marquez. I think this will be a very good fight, and and this could possibly be the fight of the year, maybe. Uh, um, in this fight. This is gonna be. I guess this might be a kind of a tough one to call. Kind of. Um, I want to go with the more experienced fire in this fight. Um, Marcus is about 21 years old. Um, coming off. Actually, I, I believe he's coming off of a loss. And you come off of a loss one or two ways. You come in much better than you did in your last fight. And or or you're damaged. I don't think that Marcus is damaged from that loss. But you know, come. I believe, and I might be wrong. He, I, but I do believe he's coming off a loss. But to come off a loss to fight a, one of the best fighters pound for pound in the world, Nonito Donaire, you know, that's a huge step up. If you ask me, that's a huge step up. Um, so me, I'm gonna go with Nonito Donaire. I'm gonna go with Nonito Donaire by a knockout, in maybe the ninth or tenth round. I like Nonino Donaire by knockout. Um, I just possibly Marcus isn't really ready for this fight. I, that's just my opinion. I don't think he was. I don't think he was built up to to um, the correct way to get into this fight. But m maybe I'm wrong. But I'm just gonna go with the more experienced fighter in this fight. I'm gonna go with Nonino Donaire. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That was the distance. Peace.